Oh, welcome to another video from the video web cities, uh, AWS for developers. Uh, in the previous video, we saw how we can configure the Elastic Bean stock and uh, how we can deploy our application through Elastic Bean stock. And we also learned uh, the main concept around the Elastic Bean stock. In this video, we will try to learn this video. Uh, by the way, this video will be a very short video. In this video, we will learn how we can deploy uh, latest code on our app. E stock application. So I have uh, three environments. Uh, if I navigate, so I have three environments. Uh, in these environments, I have application already deployed. Uh, I already terminated this one, so ignore this one. So this is uh, the application we actually uh, deployed with the latest uh, code. And this is the application actually running uh, the older version of our, uh, our application. So assuming if we need to update the application code on this environment, so there are very small, simple steps. Uh, uh, at the moment, I'm talking about the manual deployment from the Beanstalk console. So if you navigate to the Beanstalk console and go to the in application and navigate to your application, under your application, you will have all your environments. Uh, so uh, click on the environments on which you wanted to deploy your application code. So there are several options uh, you can choose to deploy. Either uh, you can deploy application from the application version. This is one way. What you can do is you can upload your code from here uh, and then you can deploy it uh, from the Beanstalk window. So this is one way, uh, but we are not going to choose this way. We are going to deploy the application in a way like uh, I will uh, upload the application code directly. So uh, we will upload the zip file and then we will call this zip file as a um, version two. Let's say this is the example name and under the, under here, we can uh, set our deployment strategy. Uh, so we can deploy the code to all machines at once. The, what it will does, it will start deploying the code to, uh, across all the machines in your cluster. Let's like say in your Beanstalk cluster, you have four virtual machines running underneath. So it will start deploying uh, the code on all machines at the same time. So another way is rolling. Uh, it deploys the code uh, one by one. Uh, and then we have a rolling with additional batch. What in this method, what it will does, it will spawn up a uh, batch of instance, deploy the new application code, and um, uh, put uh, make them. Uh, you can say make them part of uh, your bean stock. Uh, in immutable, we can uh, it will delete all the instances and create new instances and deploy the application latest version. And then we can we can select the batch size. Either uh, it should be ten percent if you have uh, ten instance, so it uh, it will deploy one instance at a time. So this is the one strategy we can deploy. So uh, it will deploy our application code straight away. Uh, it it will take some time and start deploying. Well, when when it's deploying the code, the uh, our bean stock status got changed from help to oak uh, info. So that means there is something happening under the Beanstalk environment. So once the apply application code is updated and deployed, uh, we will be able to see all those uh, events uh, right uh, in the bottom of the dashboard. So you, you see environment has transitioned from OK to info, application update in progress running from 11 seconds. So it will take a while so if we if we wanted to see uh, so it's saying deploying new versions so uh, it will take like uh, normally it takes uh, two to three minutes uh, depending on your application and the workload on your uh, beanstalk instance so it says uh, instance deployed completed successfully if we refresh the page so we will see uh, our application code is deployed and this uh, this is something we we did we change in our code. So this is one way. Uh, another way with the application version. Uh, there are two ways to create application version. First, we will create the application version from here. And let's say uh, I say app version two dash one, and I put the same description. Uh, and then I upload the zip file. I'm using the same zip file uh, because it's just a testing environment. You can choose the latest code of your application. Uh, once you upload, uh, 
you will see the code is available for deployment but it's not deployed to any instance so if we need to deploy this version of application to any instance what we can do is we can go to our uh, application then environments and assuming we wanted to deploy our application code to this uh, EBS instance currently it has a running version of development uh, source test one so we will uh, click on the upload and then from here we can choose the version we need to we wanted to deploy and from the action we can say deploy and from here we need to choose the environment we need to deploy so once it's done uh, deployment uh, already kicks in if we navigate to the instance you, we will see uh, app deployment uh, deploying new version uh, in, on instance uh, already appearing in the recent events so the same way it will take a moment to deploy your application so it successfully deploy our application if we navigate so we can see uh, both application has the same application version so uh, yeah that's it from this uh, video uh, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel share this video to your friends and colleagues who want to learn business stocks uh, in the future video we will have some more advanced topic like we will be deploying our application through pipelines and we will be swiping url uh, from like we will we will be telling you actually how you can migrate your uh, beanstalk instances in an advanced way so uh, stay tuned with us uh, and don't forget to subscribe over our youtube channel thanks for watching this video